Live from Washington, NPAC brings you gavel-to-gavel coverage of the House Judiciary Committee proceedings. Tonight, impeachment debate, July 24th, 1974. Here is NPAC correspondent Jim Lehrer. Good evening. July 24, 1974. Another one of those days of history to save the front page of your newspaper to remember what you had for lunch. Because in a few moments, the House Judiciary Committee will begin its formal public debate and voting on articles of impeachment against President Richard Nixon. Only the second time in the nation's 200 years that any move against a president has gotten this far has been this serious. And if that wasn't enough in itself, it comes tonight in an atmosphere punctuated by a ruling earlier today from the U.S. Supreme Court ordering the president to turn over evidence to a federal district court. The vote by the high court was 8 to 0. And just a few moments ago, President Nixon said through his attorney that he would comply fully with the Supreme Court's ruling to surrender 64 Watergate tapes and documents to Judge John Sirica here in Washington. James St. Clair read a statement from the Western White House saying that the president was, of quote, of course, disappointed, end quote, with the court's ruling. But St. Clair read, quote, I respect the court and will comply in all respects, end quote. It all ties together. It is all interwoven. A momentum toward a climax of a fitful two years, which began when five men broke into an office building here in Washington called the Watergate. I'm Paul Duke. Beginning tonight and continuing for the next several days, Jim and I and the PBS system will be bringing you gavel-to-gavel coverage of the historic proceedings now taking place before the House Judiciary Committee. In a way, this is the moment of truth for the 38 members.